Hey folks, Wild Wanderer here. Uh, about two or three hours ago I finished installing the uh, the severely damaged uh, firewall replacement or reinforcement on my 84 Ford F-150 four-wheel drive. Uh, it's got a six-cylinder in it. So this video is about how I went about doing that. So here we go. Um, first thing is the 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 uh, hydraulic clutch is right there. You can see it with a cap and then the hose that comes out of it. There's a hole right there. Um, can't zoom in any in any fa any further, but that hole you can see a little orange. That's the rubber backing for the plate. Um, so what's happened here is I've removed that piece as well as the uh, the brake booster and the master cylinder, the brake master cylinder. Uh, the other thing you've got to remove is the steering joint right here. Uh, pay no attention to the boot. I'm going to get a new one of those on in the next month or so. You've got to remove that bolt. That lets you slip the whole thing down and pull the steering column. The steering column's got a few bolts, so we'll walk around to the inside of the truck. Now, I'm just going to warn you, <clears throat> if you're, um, folks, if you're rather thick like I am, um, that's a nice politically correct way of saying, folks, if you're fat, <laughs> You may want to take the seat out. I got this done without doing it, but let me tell you, that space right there ain't very big. And uh, if I if I could do this over, I'd probably remove the seat so that I had more than enough room to work. Anyway, I'll uh, kind of show you what all's required in order to do this job. So we crawl under the truck, and uh, bear with me because I gotta. I gotta get my body under here. Okay. So, you can see, I hope, anyway. Yeah, you can. You can see a couple of bolts that hold the master cylinder, the, the clutch master cylinder in. There's a pin right there um, that holds it on to the lever, which is what the pedal moves it in and out with. You can see up at the top, one bolt, I move maybe two, yeah, you can see two bolts that are, you've got to drill upward into the cowl. Um, three bolts on the side here that you've got to drill into the truck, um, into the firewall. Um, and then the rest that holds it on. Oh gosh. It's no fun getting old. I don't recommend it, except that uh, it is better than dying. Anyway, you've got a a number of bolts around the steering column that have got to come out. In addition, you've got to remove this part of the dash, these two knobs, and this piece here. And, of course, your altimeter. You have an altim altimeter, don't you? Of course you do. Who, would, who could drive without one? So, once you get all that off, then the steering column. There's two bolts that hold it on. And uh, they're under this red piece. I'm not going to bother trying to show them to you. Uh, but they're, they are there. Then, I didn't have enough room to uh, remove the, the uh, or rather to drill the, the top third hole up there without removing the entire pedal bracket, the, the little hanger that holds all the pedals on. So you've got to, in addition to, uh, I'm going to move this screen so I can see a little better. In addition to having uh, removed, um, let me see what I'm looking at here. In addition to removing 
the steering column, you got to remove this big bracket here. Um, and then on the side, of course, there's a pin up there for the brake. Let's see, there it is, for the brake booster. Um, there's a brake switch. Now, if I was going to do this again, I would not remove that wire loom. I would simply undo the red pin. I'd slip the brake, um, the bait brake booster push rod over to the left, and let the let the switch and everything fall free on the on the uh, the loom and not remove it. Just saves you one step. On top of the steering column here, there are two uh, wire. Uh, Oh gosh, uh, terminals, you've got to remove the, the top one to the ignition switch and then there's one in the little further down, it's for the turn signals and, and such like. Uh, then, of course on mine I had all these stupid wires and they're going to get, I think they're going to get rerouted, I, I'm really not happy with, you know, with those, so anyway. Um, if you're going to do this, you may get there's some bushings up in the up in the uh, the pedal bracket assembly that may or may not be need to be replaced. Mine didn't, but I'm telling you, man, if you got the money to buy them, they're probably twenty bucks for a set of four, and you got to take that thing out to drill those two, three those those other holes. I would I would get the bushings ready. I'd also get a bushing for the for the uh, brake. Uh, push rod shaft for the push rod end that goes on to the brake stud and also one for the uh, for the clutch side as well uh, if you do this you're probably going to need a uh, an adjustable clutch rod uh, I ended up not needing it because I've repla I replaced the clutch on this or the, the master cylinder um, maybe 10 years ago and uh, quite honestly it was really really simple I didn't um, I I had to shorten up the rod a little bit but you know as it was adjustable that was pretty simple actually so uh, that's really all it takes to do this uh, now I say that but I'm gonna tell you that when you're doing this job um, take your time you're going to want a 90 degree drill. If I were going to do it again, I would at least attempt to uh, to not buy, or sorry, I would at least attempt not to uh, uh, I would attempt to not take the, the pedal hanger out because what I would do instead is when I'm drilling out that top bolt, see it right there, there's three. Uh, if I move this a little bit, you can see all three. If I'm gonna move that top bolt, or when I'm drilling that top bolt, I might get a 5 16 drill bit. A uh, little hint, a little bigger than 5 16 wouldn't hurt. Um, I had a little trouble putting those stupid things in. And, uh, uh, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't easy, so I might go with a little bit bigger size. But I would cut the one drill bit off. I'd go buy one at the store and, and cut it off so that maybe, just maybe, I wouldn't have to take the pedal hanger out to drill the top one. Don't know if it'll work. Don't really care because I didn't have one and I was pretty motivated to get this done. But uh, anyway, um, if you're... If your old Ford pickup, oh boy, that's that's hideous. Whew. Wow, that probably scared you folks to death. Anyway, um, if your uh, if your if your old uh, eighty to mm, eighty to ninety six Ford pickup is giving you hell, uh, trying to get it in reverse, um, and you've got to either start in second and and throw it over into reverse or it just doesn't want to go without without grinding you may need one of these um i found this one at a wrecking yard uh didn't pay very much for it thank goodness uh but i don't think any are left at the dealer uh however a fella 
Uh, he runs Terrapin Manufacturing, I think. I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the low bar. He used to make them. I don't know if he does now, but you may be able to get the this the big plate from him. I know he also used to make the small plate, uh, one for for um, minor repairs on these. Um, quite honestly. I found this plate and I decided when I found it that I wasn't going to fool around with the small plate. Even though previous to this, the uh, the one I'd installed was uh, homemade by a fella that I worked with. Um, and uh, this is a hat tip to you, Art. If you're watching this, I want to tell you thank you very much for, for fixing that almost 10 years ago. It's lasted this long. And uh, the only reason I'm even fixing it is because I have had some more trouble with the, getting it in reverse. And I found the right part to fix it with. <laughs> but uh, just so everybody knows, uh, Art was able to, to fabricate a plate. That's what the hole there was that you see orange out of. He fabricated a plate and uh, installed it for me while I was at work. Hat tip to you, buddy. That was awful nice of you. Anyway, um, that's kind of how that goes. I'll leave the, um, well, you know what else I'm going to do before I get rid of, before I shut the camera off. Um, I actually did write down kind of a, um, I actually wrote down what I did so that when I, I don't know, when I die and somebody looks through this thing, they'll, they'll find my notes and go, wow. He did all kinds of work. Uh, the Ford Motor Company part number for this firewall reinforcement kit was E as in Edward, 3, T as in Tom, Z as in Zebra, dash, 7, K as in Kaiser, 509, dash, B as in Bravo. That's for the severely um, damaged kit. I, I will post... The, there's three part numbers total, I believe, at least two, and I'll post those in the low bar. I'll also post uh, the. Uh, I will also post Terrapin's website. I I can't promise that he'll be able to help you out, but I know he was making them at one point. And in in addition, I'll post the uh, instructions on how to do this. Uh, Ford Motor Company has a oh, what do they call it a uh, they have a uh, service alert for these things, and uh, it was never recalled. Probably should have been, but it was never recalled. But uh, te it's a technical bulletin. That's what they call it. I'll post uh, a link so you can find the the technical bulletin that gives all the instructions on how to how to ins how to adjust the clutch properly and adjust and. Um, in addition to adjusting the clutch, you'll need to install it and then make sure everything's working right. Um, there's a fair amount of things that you have to do with this to do it right, but uh, I think I've covered most everything. So, anyway, um, my name's Frank, a wild wanderer, and um, just want to thank you for watching. I uh, hope this helps you. I hope you're inspired to fix your own. And uh, if I can help you somehow, with your project like this um get a hold of me put leave a comment i'll do my, i'll i'll do my level best to get back to you and if you have any questions that, that i can answer just uh same same procedure just leave them in the comments uh don't forget to thank to thumb to like and uh, subscribe if you like this video thanks a lot folks Bye bye